What event was the start of the Great Depression? Evan. Um, the Great Depression began with the crash of the stock market in October 1929. Very good. And can anyone expand on why that happened? <laughs> anyone besides Evan? Yes, Zach. Historians and economists give various causes for the Great Depression, including drought, overproduction of goods, bank failure, um, stock speculation, and consumer debt. Very good, Zach. Hey, the bell does not dismiss you. I dismiss you. So before you all scurry off, a reminder that voting for class president ends on Friday. Best of luck to you both, Evan and Zach. I'm sure that either of you will do an excellent job next year. Okay, dismissed. Enjoy your lunch period. Um, Mr. Roberts, how's voting going? What are, what are my chances? Evan, I really shouldn't have hoped that information. Uh, please. I just want to know where I stand. Well, Zach is in the lead. Of course, Mr. Popular is in the lead. But only about half of the students have voted, so you could still pull ahead. Thanks, Mr. Roberts. Come on, guys. It's hopeless. I'm never going to beat Zach Murray. No, don't say that. There's got to be a way. No, there's not. I mean, just look at him. He's better looking than me anyways. Hey, fellow juniors. If you haven't had the chance to vote for your next student body president, don't forget, voting classes this Friday at 3 p.m. And if you vote for me, you will automatically get invited to the prom after party at my house. So if you want to join me and my friends, vote for Zach! Vote for me, Zach Murray. Bye, fam. I mean, how do I compete with that, Sabrina? Zach Murray? I might as well competing with Zach Morris. Who? From Saved by the Bell. Do you ever watch old sitcoms? Right. You know, I might as well just bow gracefully now. What? Evan! No, this has been your dream since you were a kid. And it'll look really good on your college applications. You want to go to Stanford, don't you? Well, yeah. Well, this will help you. <laughs> you know, Sabrina, I really do appreciate the encouragement. I'm open to ideas. But I don't see a way. I mean, do you? Well, as your best friend and your campaign manager, I'm going to find a way. Sabrina. Hold on, I'm thinking. Okay. Yep, I got it. Really? Yep. We gotta beat Zach at his own game. How? Gotta get you some followers. Sabrina, how am I supposed to do that by Friday? Becca Sandler. Becca Sandler? Yep, Becca Sandler. She's been obsessed with you since like the third grade, has millions of followers, and her dad's freaking loaded. I. I'm sure we could even get her to throw an even better prom after party. I don't know. All right, uh, Becca and I tried dating freshman year. Remember, I, I don't want to hurt her again. Dude, it's the only way. I don't know. Well, sometimes the end justifies the means. There she is. Go talk to her. Oh, I don't, I don't know. This still doesn't seem right. You want to go to Stanford, don't you? Well, yeah. Come on, just have the conversation just like we practiced. She'll probably end up thinking it was her idea anyways. I really don't think this is going to work anyways. At least try, because she's our only hope. Hey. Can we talk? Well, 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 if it isn't Evan Baxter. Uh, yeah, that's me. Can we have lunch together? You want to talk? What about? Um, 
Well, I wanted to talk to you about, well, um, you know, um... No. No, I, I don't. But I wanted to talk to you about us and getting back together. Um, sure. Evan, I love lunch with you. I got you your favorite candy bar. See, I, I remember it. Oh, Evan, thank you. That's that's really sweet of you. So, um, I just want to say thank you for um for having lunch with me and hearing me out. I've actually been meaning to uh, reach out for a while now. It's just I've been so busy with college and um, running for student body president that I didn't think it would be fair to not be the boyfriend you deserved. Wow, I never knew you felt that way. Yeah, I, I do. And I have to admit, I, I really miss you. And I miss you too. Really? Yes. Uh, so, um, do you, uh, did you wanna be my girlfriend uh, again? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so um, happy. Me too. Um, but what changed? Like, um, why do you think you can be the, you know, boyfriend I deserve, as you uh, um, so sweetly put it? Well, um, I've decided that I'm dropping out of running for student body. What? Wait, why? That was your dream as long as I've known you. I, I know, it's just, it, I mean, there's no way I can beat Zach Murray. It's hopeless. Oh, don't say that. I mean, he's the captain of the football team. Okay, and? This school isn't just made up of jocks. And he's throwing a party after prom. And he said on his live today that anyone who votes for him is automatically invited to it. Hmm. So that's how he's playing it. Yep. I mean, if we could use your followers hey, to... Hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. Leave it to me. Really? I missed you so much. I'm so happy to do this for you. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, it's Becky S. here with some great news. Okay, so for my fellow juniors, Evan and I are back together. And, well, I just want to give a shout out to everyone who unfollowed him when he dumped me. Because... I mean, that was amazing of you. Thank you so much for the support. Um, but we are back together, so please give him a follow. <laughs> Thank you. Second of all, please vote for him for student body president because that will be what's best for the school. He will assure you that he's gonna bring better school lunches and healthier options for the vending machine. And also, DJ Summer will be at prom. Speaking of prom, uh, we are going to have a um, after party at my house, and it'll be definitely much better than Zach's party. Um, DJ Summer will also be there after his setup prom. And yeah, I mean, I don't think I need to give you another reason to vote for Evan. <laughs> We're so cute. <laughs> okay, bye. Wow, Becca, I... Thank you, but... DJ Summer, I can't get him at prom. No, leave it to me. Wow. I really don't deserve you. No, oh, don't say that. Wait, how did you know about my plan to uh, have healthier uh, foods and healthier options for vending machines? Well, um, I have been following your campaign all year. I mean, even though we've been a bit of a disaster. Um, I never stopped caring about you. Wow. Uh, Becca, that, that's so sweet of you. We just got back together and you're already helping me. Why did we ever break up in the first place? Oh, no, who remembers? <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, I was an, an idiot. 
Yeah, well, uh, I do have to agree with you there. You know, I just gotta say thank you. We just got back together and you're already jumping in, already helping me to win. Of course, happy to do it for you. You know, if we're gonna do this for real this time, I wanna be totally honest with you. Okay. Evan, Becca, look at you two crazy kids back together. I knew it was only a matter of time. Hey, Sabrina, can we get a minute actually? Well, we should actually start making your acceptance speech based on Becca's new live stream. You're a shoe in. And once you're student body president, hello, Stanford. Um, oh my gosh, baby, you want to go there too? Yeah, yeah. Wow, you two really are two peas in a pod. Oh my gosh, I missed you so much. I missed you too. <laughs> Thank you so much for this, by the way. Oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> to Becca, this isn't right. Dude, keep your voice down. Someone could overhear. Yeah, but we have to talk about this president thing. It's not worth it. Don't say another word. We'll talk about this later. All right. Fine. Any brave soul want to take a crack at it? No surprise here. Come on up, Evan. Well done, Evan. Thanks, Mr. Day. All right. Good work, everyone, today. Dude, Becca's already gotten you, like, so many more followers. You've got the selection in the bag. Sabrina, I... I, of course, want to win this election, but I... I have to tell Becca the truth. What? No. Yeah, I'm using her for her followers, and for what? I mean, just saying out loud, it doesn't feel right. She's a good person, and she wants the best for me. It was a mistake breaking up with her, and I want to tell the truth about this so we can have a real shot. Well then, what about Stanford? If I can't get on my own merit, then maybe I don't deserve to be going there. Well, we at least wait until tomorrow, but then you'll probably win this whole thing. Fine. I'll wait until tomorrow to tell her, but I'm telling her first thing in the morning, before first period. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head home, but I have your word that you're gonna wait until tomorrow morning. Yes, Sabrina. Okay. Hey, Evan, can we talk for a sec? Um, sure. Hey, um. I just want to say, whatever happens with this election, it was an honor to run against you. Um, thanks, I guess. Um, yeah. Well, good luck on Friday. Bye. Bye. That was weird. Sabrina, I'm using her for her followers. And for what? Jackpot. Well, there goes Evan's chances of winning. I just talked to Mrs. Roberts, and you're in the lead. Yeah, I would be happy about that, but I'm not. I don't like the way I pulled ahead. It doesn't feel right. You know, I need to make this right with Becca. Well, good luck. Good luck with what? Uh, Becca! I was just coming to look for, uh, for you and come clean about something. Save it. What? I, I know you're using me for my followers. Becca, please. I was just coming to look for you and explain and beg for forgiveness. Just save it. I, Zach told me everything. What? 
Sabrina. I'm using her for her followers. And that's all he played you? What, what about the part where it I said- It doesn't matter. Because it doesn't matter what you say or what you thought. Because we're done. Fool me once, shame on you. But fool me twice, shame on me. Becca, please, I, I didn't- I, I didn't you mean know, to- You know, you can kiss your precious election and followers away too, because- Hey fam, it turns out Evan Baxter was just using me for my followers. It's fine. You're so far ahead, you don't even need her followers anymore. I don't care about that anymore. Come on. I need to make this right. Come on, Evan, you didn't work your whole academic career to become student body president of our senior year just to throw it all away. It doesn't matter. I need to do the right thing. Becca, Becca, can we please talk? There's nothing to talk about. Please, just let me explain. Explain what? How you use me for my followers? Look, I, I'm so sorry. I was just so caught from winning that- That's I, not an excuse. Fine. If you won't come talk to me, I guess there's only one way. Excuse me? Can I have everyone's attention, please? Fellow juniors. My name is Evan Baxter, and I just officially withdraw my name from being your next student council president. I am embarrassed to admit that I was using Becca for her followers to give me votes. I deeply regret that. But I don't regret asking her to be my girlfriend. She was willing to help me reach my goal to the to the most extent. Becca, I am so sorry that I ever had a thought to use you. You are an amazing person and you made me realize how selfless a person can be. Now, if you'd let me, I'd... I'd love to try again. I don't deserve your forgiveness, but I hope by withdrawing my name from consideration, it shows you my intentions are pure this time around. Well, how can I say no to that? Can you ever forgive me? Yeah, of course I can. No live streaming, no phone. I don't care what other people think. Let's give this a clear shot this time. I don't. I don't want your followers involved. But, but they'll never know how you apologized and... I don't care if they forgive me. I only care if you've forgiven me. Plus, um, look around. Pretty sure enough people will know. Hey guys, uh, put your phones away guys. Let's be present and Enjoy this moment. Nothing is so important that requires you to deceive the people who care about you. Lying and cheating to get ahead is never the right way to do something. Honesty and hard work go a long way. <laughs> See, See you, you next time. time.